The way the governor of Abia State responds to issues very smartly, it makes every other governor look like they are not working. So yesterday there was a fire at bus at the Chisco Park where they parked their trucks in Aba, their buses in Aba, and you know the governor was aware of the situation. And today, immediately he woke up this morning, got dressed, and went straight there to see the whole site, see what really happened, ask questions and the whole situation was properly explained to the governor anyway he had some very nice and amazing words to say concerning the issue i'll allow you to listen to it don't forget to subscribe drop a comment <laughs>
Tells me that uh, there are we'll be doing that we are not doing well. In the first instance, every facility must have five. And we are going to enforce it from next week. We will also try and get more fire trucks. Thank you. Because I'm told that when the fire was going to overpower the service men, they had to seek more um, backup from Omaha, and that's a distance. So we are going to have more fire drops in our back. I think um, we will also, looking at this whole place, something is also wrong. Yes. And I think it's time we relocated the parks to a more spacious place. All right. We are going to go and have a look at them and ensure that we relocate a lot of these vehicles to the parks. So that it will be easy if there is any incident, it will be easy for us to move it. So let me commiserate with the businesses that we are affected and their owners, and we will, as much as possible, support them and help them to at least take some of their losses. Because I want to be I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I
All right, uh, that is uh, the governor, Dr. Alex Soti, at the scene of the fire incident that actually happened yesterday uh, here at the Mivati in the Chisco Terminal Park. And he actually assured that he's going to assist uh, uh, people from here. He's going to assist them so that uh, they will actually recover. So that is it. You can actually see uh, this is one of the places that were actually damaged. These are the buildings that were very, very much affected. Very, very much affected. So the governor is actually leaving. Very simple, ma. Uh, that is the governor in Toraj uh, leaving the scene after he actually uh, visited and uh, considered with uh, uh, those that have lost their property here. So we could recall we reported yesterday about the fire incident that actually happened at the uh, Chisco uh, terminal where the, the fire actually crashed uh, different properties. So the governor was here and he just uh, leaving now. He actually said it all. He said that uh, a bar and every other business operating areas must actually ensure they have a fire extinguisher. And uh, he also making a plan of how to relocate this part from Mibat into a very spacious place so that uh, uh, this cannot uh, reoccur anytime soon. So thank you. My name is Michael Lombo, officially reporting for Model TV here in the city of Aba.
I'm all quite here with the na Ozi Pirana Okobara Eba na Mayo Patton yesterday. So I got the information but I'm happy that the fire service mobilized and worked very hard to stop the fire. Uh, if you notice, in the last few weeks, there have been several fire incidents in Aba. That tells me that uh, there are things which we'll be doing that we are not doing well. In the first instance, every facility must have fire extinguishers. And we are going to enforce it from next week. We will also try and get more fire trucks. Because I'm told that when the fire was going to overpower the servicemen, they had to seek um, um, backup from Umwaiha, and that's a distance. So we are going to have more fire trucks in Aba. Looking at this whole place, something is also wrong. And I think it's time we relocated the parks to a more spacious place. Uh, we can't have everybody walking this in of Uebe. This is this is a, a recipe for disaster. And I will let me commiserate with the businesses that we are affected and their owners and we will as much as possible support them and help them to at least tame some of their losses.